Right, well, quite a popular um, question that crops up on these GCSE papers is to do with recipe conversions, where you're having to scale up or scale down the ingredients in a recipe to change the number of people that the recipe will provide for. In this first question, um, we've got a recipe here that will make banoffee pie for six servings. And the first thing we have to do is to change that for uh, to provide for 18 servings. So what you want to do is you want to work out how many times you have to increase the recipe by to go from 6 to 18. Okay, And the way that you would do that would be to do 18 divided by 6. 18 divided by 6 gives you 3. So 6 times 3 is 18. So everything in this recipe has to be multiplied by 3. Okay, so need 3 times as many bananas. So we need 6 bananas. For the second one, we need to scale it up to 21. So we've got to go from a 6 to 21. So 21 divided by 6 that would be three and a half. So we'd need to multiply everything by 3.5. They're interested in plain chocolate, so I've got to do, so I will need 30 times 3.5. 105 grams of plain chocolate. Second question, same idea again. Here's a recipe for six people. I need to scale it up for nine people. So what have I got to scale it by? What is my multiplying factor? So I'm going to do nine divided by six. One and a half. So everything has to be multiplied by 1.5. So beans would be 110 times 1.5 and the rice would be 1 times 1.5. So we'd have 1.5 mugs and 165 grams of beans. Third question. This recipe is for 24. We need to scale it for 36. So it's the same starting point for each of these. What have I got to multiply my recipe by in order to go from 24 to 36? So we do 36 divided by 24. Again is one and a half. So salt, flour, and milk. Salt will be two pinches. So that goes to three pinches. Um, flour, four hundred and eighty times 1.5 so we get 720 grams of flour and milk we're going from 150 ml Final question. Same again. Here we're going from a recipe for spaghetti for four people to a recipe for ten people. So what have I got to multiply by to go from four to ten? 
means I've got to do 10 divided by 4, which is 2.5. So everything I fill in here is going to be 2.5 times what we're given up there. So we've got 400 first of all. So that becomes 1,000 grams of plain flour. It's going to be 14 times 2.5 which will be 35 ounces of plain flour. Four eggs times 2.5, 10 eggs. And this side for the sauce, four tablespoons will be 10 tablespoons. Two onions will be, two lots of 2.5, five onions. 800 grams will be 800 times 2.5, 2,000 grams. 28 ounces will be 28 times 2.5, 70 ounces. And 20 leaves of basil will be 20 lots of 2.5, which is 50 leaves of basil. So every one of those is a two and a half times multiplier of the original ingredients. And then the final part of this is um, a metric imperial equivalent. It says, use the information given in the recipe to complete this statement. 100 grams is something ounces. Well, we're given here, and we'll use this one because in case that one is wrong, we've made a mistake. We're given that 400 grams is 14 ounces. So, in order to go reduce from 400 to 100 I have to divide by 4 so I have to divide 14 by 4 and when I divide 14 by 4 I get half of it would be 7 half again 3.5 ounces and that's recipe questions <laughs>